Hello guys and welcome to the new art lesson. In today's lesson we're gonna learn more about the texture. Uh, texture is element of art and it's really important. Where we can find texture? Texture is everywhere around us. Our clothes is texture, we can find it in fashion design, in product design, graphic design, everywhere. For example, table lamp, it can be designed with some texture. We can find texture in nature, on animals, on rocks, on tree, everywhere. Here I have one example of drawed, drawn textures, as you can see. This is one of the examples which you can do. Here I have animal textures. Animal textures. We have snake prints or animal skin, snake skin texture. This is cheetah texture. Zebra. We have tiger. This is like alligator skin and giraffe what i have here i have one really interesting project how i did fashion design i connect fashion design with texture as you can see here and i can change them i can change design for each dress can you see it? We can layer. Design can be just print of. And now I'm gonna show you something what we will do today. This is one example which I make for you. If you see it closely, you can see that it has a texture. You can touch it, you can feel it, right? It's amazing. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Also, this is another example of texture. We can add some cardboard paper, some string, tissues, and then we can paint it. You can use acrylic paints so you can get this glow. This is so beautiful, right? Especially if we use it on white backgrounds. It's pure beauty. I just take glow tag, make small like circle and stick it around. Then I paint it with blue paint, acrylic paint. Then I add little bit silver and gold by using sponge. I do just like this and take some uh, silver and gold around to get this beautiful piece of art. I'll just remove this one for now. What's the next project? Here I used cardboard paper. I used here when you sharpen your pencil. We can use it now together. You can add it as a texture. Why not? Let me see what else. I used string in this part. I have string here and this here is tissue tissue paper like i used here you just take tissue let me show you tissue like this you rip it and paste that's all and you can get this beautiful art i'm gonna show you also on the white background it's beautiful I'm gonna move them now and let them dry because they are still a little bit wet. Okay, now we're gonna start with our project. I'll try to make it simple and to use some materials which we have at home. First, you, what you will need is cardboard paper see I didn't cut it properly but no that's not important paste it on your table and add liquid glue 
if you don't have liquid glue you can use this one which we are using in school school glue but i will use liquid glue because i think it's better for this project i'll use a little bit more because i have to fix everything really really well also glue as you can see glue is a texture this can be you can just leave it to dry and this can be your texture later you can add some color around or you can paint your background then add glue why not first i'm gonna use this tissue i will use this part where i have this white flower in one part First, what I'm gonna do, I will use plastic fork to just be, make sure that we have glue everywhere. Okay, now we are sure it's everywhere. Now, I'm gonna Put tissue but not straight I don't want it straight like this so we can still feel the texture then later okay I'm, I'm gonna use this one later use white tissue to create like small flowers around later we're gonna paint them You see, it's so beautiful. Now I'm gonna use string. Okay, I will start from here. And I will cut it on this part. Hope so that you can see it good. The string is a little bit strong. Okay, later when your artwork is dry, you can cut these edges, but not now because it's still wet and we would move it if we cut it now. I'll make more pieces I'll try to open this to see yeah this is better what I'm doing I'll separate this to make like round part yeah like this like a circle now i'm gonna make one more in middle you can use string if you don't have string use whatever you want what you have at home look at this it looks beautiful it will just take a little bit longer for this glue to dry but no problem now what i'm going now okay we will stick it just in few places not everywhere like this What we're gonna do here, you can do like this around your finger to make a small circle. Then you can just paste it like this. We're gonna paint this later. 
for now I'm gonna use fork just to stick it better on some parts Okay, I think it's fine for now. Mm, I'll use more tissue. For this part, I'll just use white tissue because I'm gonna paint it anyway you can do like this it's not important how it will look like it doesn't need to be same as mine I want you to be creative I want you to show me something different not something what I already made Okay. Put the tissue everywhere around like this. At the end you can cut some parts if you want. Like this. Okay, now when we are done, we are taking brush and I'll use this one and blue paint. I'm gonna put some blue paint here, not too much. You can use tempera or any other colors or if you have acrylic it will be the best I'm not painting it completely I'm just putting little bit paint on the top you can see it In some parts I'll add a little bit more like this I think this is enough now I can put some paint in the middle to make it look like a flower then what I can do I'll use a little bit of metallic paint like this just a little bit in some parts I don't know how good you can see it on video but here it looks just amazing Anyway, I will post pictures together with this project, so you will see it. And a little bit of paint on this part. Or maybe, no, not on this. Now I'll use gold. I think it will be better effect. I'll use it directly on my brush because I don't need too much I'll paint this small flowers let's say they are flowers And 
I will add little bit gold around here. Somewhere, not everywhere. Like this. Just to have that gold touch. And maybe a little bit on this string around. Why not? To make it more visible. Okay. That's it. Our project is done. Now I'm going to put it on white paper, white background, so you can see how it actually looks like at the end. Wow. I really like it. I don't know about you. You can rotate it and see it from different positions. I hope so that you will enjoy in your project. And one more thing, uh, if you want to do your background first, if you want to paint uh, paper for the background, you can paint it, then add all of this. If you don't have string, you can use anything what you find at home, or you can use just tissues, make like different designs. Okay, guys, thank you for watching.